What's going on guys? Welcome back to another ARC video and in this video we are actually going to be doing a base tour. Now you guys can see I have built a castle which is like a tech castle but it's not completed yet so don't expect the finished product. It's still half done. This does take a lot of work. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you a tour of the castle pretty much and a tour of my whole base. Um, so you might be wondering why there's two bases here. So if you guys didn't know, actually I like play ARC with my dad. So me and my dad like to play together. Um, you know, so my dad built his own base, I build mine. You know, where we have fun, you know, we have our own building styles. So I'm gonna give you a tour of both bases. So because my base is a lot bigger than my dad's, we're gonna give you a tour of my dad's first because it'll be quicker to do. So you can see my dad loves the color purple and black. So, so as you can see, we got the behemoth tech gate over here. I love the tech gates. This look, this makes our lives so much easier. All right, so let's do a little tour. So we got the horses here. As you can see, my dad loves naming these animals. You can see what he names them. Mr. Annoying for the Raptor, because he is annoying. Back kicking pro, knockout, because these horses can knock someone out with those back legs. Then we have Junk in the Trunk over here. You know, we have a beaver, Basculus, we have the pig. And then we have the bird cage that he built. Now, uh, you see you got the bouncer over here doing security. You know how it is. Now, this is a nice little area to keep the flyers or whatever he wants to put in here. We got the Griffins up top. We have the uh, Argentavis. We have uh, Skinny Ass is what he named them, the, that bird up there. And, uh, yeah, you could definitely fit a lot more stuff in here. So, yeah, my dad built this, and it looks pretty nice. It's really good. We got the... Oh, my God, I didn't even see this. He, he would put this up here. And then we have the Lightning Dragon we parked up here. Uh, okay. And then he has the Pyramid now. The pyramid is made with the tech slopes, so you can see it looks really nice. You just got to finish coloring it in. But I like how it looks, like it connects really good. Then we go inside. We have him sleeping right here. Um, so we have a lot of stuff going on. He has a forge in the middle. His pig over here, so when he poops, he can feed it to the dung beetles, which is over here. We have his incubator, cryo fridge. His whole setup is right here, nice. So it looks really good in here. A little cozy area, like... It's not huge, but it's not like crammed up and it's actually a good size. All right, so now you guys got a tour of my dad's base. We are gonna tour the castle. So originally I did this whole castle in stone. As you can see, I'm still transitioning it from stone to tech. Now I know some of you might've liked the stone look better, but I wanted to upgrade it because I just got boring looking at the stone. So as you can see, I'm not finished yet, but I will um, finish it soon. So let's go inside first. So you can see I got the tech stairs here going up. Now, I didn't put nothing, I, I mean, I put that in there for now, but um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put in there. But if you guys have any ideas of what I should do to make the base look better, or any, um, anything I could add, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm open to taking ideas to what I can do to make my base look better. I have the tech pillars here with the lights on them. Let's go inside. Alright, once we're inside, you know, I got the uh, tech replicator here. This thing is huge, so I put it on the first floor. We have this little cutie right here. Don't get this fooled. This guy is one of the scariest guys in the game. Holy shit. That's not even a joke. Um, okay, we have my station over here. Now we have the storage boxes on a wall back here. So it looks like a regular wall, but it's actually just a wall of storage. Which makes my life a lot easier. I love these storage boxes. Then we have the chemistry bench. Um, I don't really have nothing else back here. I didn't really do anything else with this. It's just like a hallway. So... I don't really know what I could do in, uh, in there. Well, let's go upstairs to the second floor. So the second floor, you know, we have my fridges over here. We have my vault. We have some, another, uh, some storage bins. Oh my god, my wyvern's tail is hitting me. Some storage bins. We had some regular forges, which I don't even use anymore. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for the second floor. I'm, I'm running out of ideas as I go up because I already have all my main stuff on the first floor. So the rest is just for show. So this is the third floor balcony. As you can see, it's not done yet, but I don't know what to put up here. So in the meantime, it's just going to stay like that. And then we go up one more time. Let's go through here. This is like a little secret, uh, I don't know what you would call it. Like, what, a panic room? We got my um, tech transmitter here to go between maps. We have my, another forge. We have another vault. We have some storage bins. And then I think we have, yeah, we have a bird hatch or hatch right up here if you want to bring any bring any birds in or come out now uh 
Yeah, so you can see I'm, I kind of messed up on some of the uh, castle parts. Like this part, you see it's not popping out like that one. Um, and I was just too lazy to change it. But um, yeah, you can see this took a lot of stone. So you can imagine how long it takes using tech. But eventually, I yeah, would get it done. You know, I'm just taking my time with it now because I did spend a lot of uh, time crafting the tech walls. And I don't feel like doing that right now. Okay, now let's go into the back. I do have the Death Worm Taxidermy right here. Okay, so as you can see, I'm still finishing up the side of it. Um, I'm doing it little by little with the tech walls. Uh, I know it might look a little bit crazy now, but when I'm finished, um, I think it will look pretty good. Especially if I decide to color it. I'm pretty um, undecided about that yet, if I want to color it or not. Um, <clears throat> so, this is the backyard of my base, pretty much. We got the greenhouse over there. Let me show you that real quick. We got my dumb beetles. We have all the tech crops in here. Growing stuff. So that's pretty good. Um, I like how it looks in here. I like the tech pots. I like the light. You know, we got the view to the beach over there. So that's pretty cool. Then we have over here, which is a landing pad for my hover skiff, which apparently got broken yesterday when I was doing a cave run and a carno wants to run into my uh, hover skiff and it broke. Which is pretty a shame because I had it, I had something built on it and everything. So at the end of this um, video, I'm probably going to build another one so you guys can see it and then land it here. Then we have the, Mag the Magnamar. I still don't know if I'm saying this right. Um, I tamed this baby yesterday also. I did do a video on how to tame this solo. So if you guys want to check that out after this, you can go check out my previous video. Then we have my Quetzals. Um, this one is bloody because I just leveled up his health. Um, we just breeded, I just breeded this one, so this was a baby, he just grew up. So yeah, so far, I got three Quetzals, got one with the forge on his back. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, I think these are just backups, or if I ever need them from something. In here, we have the breeding room, so we have the egg incubators. Um, we have my tech, uh, generator, we have the regular generator as backup. Then we have my fridge full of random stuff, uh, you know, magma, magnosaur eggs, veggies, eggs, okay. But yeah, I basically breed them in here and I walk them outside. Uh, let me see. We have a beehive right here doing all my honey. Uh, of course, I gotta wait for these bees to get off me now. Yeah. Then we have this big-ass Dwayne Johnson over here. We have the rock golem. Rock elemental, whatever you want to call him. Um, it, was, it wasn't that hard to tame. Little issues at first, but we was able to knock him out pretty quick. If you guys want me to do a video on how to tame this thing, uh, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Uh, okay, we have this pig right here. We have the Uteran. If you guys don't know, I'm terrible at pronouncing dino names, so I will get them wrong a lot of the times. But we have this guy right here that I tamed a while ago. And I will be making a separate video to where I'll be breeding an army of these to fight the bosses on this map. Um, I prefer these over the T-Rexes, so we're going to make a big, ar a strong army of these. And um, yeah, so I'll make videos of me taming more and breeding them and stuff like that. We have the Meowing, or the Platypus, I like to call them. Really fun to get around on the map on. We have Freddy Krueger over here with his big nails. Also a really fun dino, really strong, good mount. We have my Terror Birds here for when I go in the caves. We have the Magnosaur here. We have him. He's really good at getting metal, by the way. This guy is really good at getting metal. He can even smelt the metal, uh, do a lot of things. We have the Basilisk, which is the big-ass snake, which you could also bury in the ground. So it's definitely, if you have multiple of these and you want to, like, make some room in your base to walk around and he's in the way, just put him in the ground. I like to keep him out because I like to show him off when people come by and they see a big-ass snake. Um, so I built this little platform just for, like, my flyers. So we have two Argentavises. We have my uh, Tape Jara. We have my Griffins right here. And then we have my Wyvern. So, uh, yeah, I don't think if I ever get another Wyvern, it won't fit on here. But I could fit some other few regular birds on here. But, um, yeah, that's just where I put my flyers because I didn't want them all over the place. And then we have my two gorillas. We have Donkey Kong and King Kong <laughs> walking around collecting my fiber. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this space. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. As you can see, look, this is the side. This is how the castle looked um, without the tech. So this is when it was all stone. Um, I did mess up and put my fridges through the wall. But I know you might say that the stone looks better. But I just got tired of looking at the stone because I've been playing on the server for a while. So that's why I'm changing it. But, um... Yeah, I mean, the stone does look good, too. In here, I do have my tech generator. And then out here, I have the tech teleporter. 
So this teleporter is open to everyone on the server, so it makes it easier for everyone to travel. So for example, if I go to teleport, you can see everybody um, has their own teleporter at a base. Uh, the admins put one on each obelisk, so it makes it easier to teleport to obelisk. And then people put it at their own bases as well. So it's good to traveling on different sides of the map. So yeah, there you guys have it. A quick tour of my tech castle base. I'm going to give you a quick overhead view of how it looks. Just so you guys can see. Um, yeah, it may look big, but it actually doesn't even feel that big, to be honest. I feel like it's already getting crowded with all the animals there, but, uh, yeah, I spent a lot of, uh, a lot of time doing this, so I hope you guys enjoy it and you like the base. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think about it. I would definitely appreciate it, and give some love to my dad's base, too, uh, because when he's done with that pyramid, it's gonna look fresh, and that birdcage looks amazing, so... Yeah, that's why we built two separate bases. Now I'm going to build the hover skiff for my landing pad. So let me see what I need for that. Yeah, this is a mess in here, by the way, because I'm, I don't know. I got to clean this out and put everything away. I just got too lazy. So let's see what we need for the hover skiff. Oh, we have enough. Okay. We got to craft one. Construction area obstructed. Ah, oh, damn. I forgot. When you, when you craft a hover skiff, uh, it automatically pops it outside. Well, I don't know where it's trying to spawn it at. Alright, so because I try to make a hover skift in the replicator inside, but it's saying construction area is not clear. Because when you craft a hover skift, it automatically spawns in. It doesn't spawn in um, in your inventory. So I just made another replicator. I'm just going to put it out here. I'm going to demolish it. After I use it, I just gotta build it out here so the hover skiff can spawn, and then I'll get rid of it. So let's put this here. Hopefully, no one teleports to my teleporter. Uh, that way, they don't get stuck. Let's give me the. Let me get the materials I need, and then we'll come back. All right. So we finally have all the items I needed. So we're gonna make it now. There we go. And then it should spawn somewhere. Oh my God! It's in the freaking ground. Here. Uh. Oh, I gotta put element inside. Hold on, let me... Well, I'm stuck. I can't get off. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be right back until I figure out how I'm gonna get this thing out the ground. Alright, there we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Didn't expect to run into these problems. I just had to put some element inside of it. Okay, so we're gonna take our stuff out of here. And demolish this. And I'm encumbered. Okay, I'll be right back again. Alright, so this is the hover skiff for the people that have not seen it before. Now, this is like, it's like a platform saddle, so you can build on here. I did have something built on here, but it got destroyed when the um, Carno fucked it up. But uh, when you land it, it does bring out this ramp automatically, so that's really cool. Um, you have to, let me uh, show you inside. Now, it can hold up to 16,000 weight, and you have to put element inside as fuel. Um, and it can hold stuff, so that's pretty good when you want to go uh, mining or whatever you want to do. So, we're going to park this on the pad right over here. And this is why this landing pad was here, because this is why I wanted to show you. Uh, okay, let's see if we can land it nice. And... Boom! Landing pad for the hover skift. At nighttime with the lights, it actually looks really good. And then when I put a structure on this with the lights, it'll look really good as well. But yeah, so that is the base tour. The end of my base tour. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I do have a water pen on the beach for my water dinos. But I'm going to show you guys that in a separate video because I have another plan I want to do with that video. So yeah, if you guys want to stick around for that, make sure you subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know you guys enjoy these ARC videos so I can keep making more. Because it's really my first time testing out ARC videos to see if you guys would like them or not. So hopefully you do like them because I love playing this game and I like making videos for you guys. And remember, if you need tips on how to tame any of these animals you see in my base, let me know in the comments below. And I would give you tips on how you can tame it. Most of them I tame solo and then most of them I tame with a friend so uh, or my, with my dad. So... Yeah, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.